the movement effects are appropriate for both videos and photos. This feature can transform still photos into short videos. There are preset movement effects in the template section. The templates can be dragged and dropped onto the image object. To remove the template, simply select the template option, No Effect. With tracking shots, also known as camera panning, a section of the image moves through the entire image to create the effect of camera panning. After the selection, a frame for defining the section appears in the preview monitor. Use the handles to make the frame smaller and move it to the position where the tracking shot should begin. The final step is to define the direction of movement. Clicking on the Preview button resizes the section to fill the monitor. This is the starting point of the tracking shot. Click on the Playback button to start the tracking shot. To reset the effect, use the double arrow button. A zoom shot is a variation on the tracking shot. This effect creates the impression that the camera is zooming into or out of the image. The first step is to select the image section and then the direction of movement. The entire image can also be moved. To do this, open the effect Rotation Mirror. Here, you'll find various options for rotating or mirroring the image. You can achieve dynamic rotation or flipping it by combining this effect with keyframe animation. Other movement effects make it possible to decrease the image size. For example, for montages or cropping an image to remove borders. 3D distortion can be used as a spatial curve to the image. In the Plus and Premium versions, the camera lens can also be adjusted retroactively. The Lens Correction feature is used for this.